Welcome to the BizMiz Project. Through these short digital resources, we aim to help you to improve your digital and social media literacy. We are glad that you have stopped by to learn more about how you can protect yourself in digital and social media environments. In this lesson, we are going to take a quick look at the topic of the credit and copyright, with a focus on you as a creator of online content. After this short video, you should have a better understanding of the rights and protections you enjoy as a content creator. As a creator of online content which you share through your blog, website or social channels, there are a few different rights you enjoy as a content creator. These include economic rights, digital rights and moral rights. In this short video, we will discuss some of the rights that you enjoy as an online content creator. The first right that we will discuss here is related to your moral rights. These rights protect the non-economic interests of you, the author. These rights cannot be assigned or waived, neither seized nor alienated. They refer to the most intimate sphere and linked to their personality of the author. Through these rights, the identity and reputation of the creator of the work is protected. While the definition of moral rights may seem a little vague, we have a list of moral rights that correspond to the creator of content. Understanding these six basic moral rights that you enjoy as a content creator can help you to identify if your rights are being denied or infringed by others. Your six moral rights as a content creator include the right of disclosure, the right of paternity, the right of integrity of the work, the right to modify, the right to withdraw the work, right of access to the single copy. Next we will discuss your economic, patrimonial and exploitation rights. These rights are the only ones that can be assigned to the third party. This assignment is made through a contract or acceptance of the terms and conditions. These are also the rights that allow financial compensation for the use of the works of the owner by another person or company, without their permission. So if someone steals your content and you want to prosecute, your case will rest on your economic rights as a content creator. As such, the economic rights of a content creator are those that allow the author to obtain an economic return for the use of his or her work by another party. Specifically, authors and content creators are protected by the following five rights. Right of reproduction, right of distribution, right of public communication, right of transformation, and right of collection. Lastly, we will look at your digital or e-rights. These rights are specific to you as a creator of online content. These rights relate to how you want your content to be shared online and they apply to all content that has been made available to you through any online platform, whether it was created elsewhere and then shared online or whether it was first created online. As an online content creator, you are protected by four specific digital rights, which are listed as follows. It is important to remember that these rights only apply to how your content is used, shared and accessed in online environments, networks, platforms and public forums. Right of distribution, making your work available online, right of reproduction, right of display and right of telecommunication to the public. There are some incidents where your rights as a content creator differ slightly. This depends on the copyright that falls on your work. For example, some of your work may be reviewed, reproduced or translated for research or private study purposes, but not for sale or other use related to commercial purposes. Then there is also the possibility that you may want to share your content online and make it available to the public without licensing and copyright infringements. If this is the case, then we recommend that you list the resources on your website, blog or social channels using a Creative Commons license. Using this license allows you to grant copyright permissions to others to use your creative content. To find out more about the different licenses offered under the Creative Commons framework, please visit creativecommons.org. If you find the content you have created is being shared or reused by another individual or company without your knowledge, make sure that the source of where they took the information is indicated and the Uniform Resource Locator, or URL, of the blog post, social media post, or other is cited. Also bear in mind that reproduction of translated, of substantial portions of your content, or any other use for educational or non-commercial purposes, requires prior written authorization from you, the author. If this has not been secured by the person who shared your content online, then you should contact them and notify them of their infringement as a first step in resolving the issue. 
You have now completed this short video which gave you an overview of some of your basic rights, protections and responsibilities as a content creator. For more resources that will help you to develop your digital and social media literacy, please visit the Bizmas eLearning portal at courses.bizmas.eu.